a good friend, he keeps going back voluntarily. And you know what? I say, keep my nephew over there. His ass is crazy. <laughs> what I'm saying, I want back over here. Yeah, this no. movie hit me hard because it was just so depressing. I was seeing, you know, there. You know, you watch movies for a certain degree for escapism, and and I love good movies that are that are trying to send a message, but. Right now, it's a message that nobody's listening to. That it's not going to convert anyone who isn't already converted. Uh, it's not going to get to the people who uh, who need to hear it, or the people who need to hear it just don't give a shit because they're like, "Look, we need this to to win our thing." I see what you're saying, but I would rather this come out at a time and at least have a few people hear it right when it's happening, instead of when everything is over and done with, and it's real easy to release this movie with True. no repercussions at all. It's a, I think it's braver to release a movie like this, and I and I do commend the movie, and I do like the movie, and the movie didn't really bother me. Like I said, I just to, it, it's almost like I'm giving this movie a compliment by saying that I wish they had stuck to the topic a little more because that's where I was more interested. I didn't really need a little bit of the drama that was in there. And also, I got to say, like, the guy who plays his best friend, um, the guy's kind of a really terrible actor. Wait, which which are you talking about? The Schreiber. Guy from, oh, from Step Up 2? Yeah, the guy from Step Up 2. Step Up, or, well, or, from, no, no, from no, First no. Step Up. Well, he was in both, actually. Was he? Yeah. yeah, he, yeah. he made an appearance, apparently. I mean, I guess I won't say he's a terrible actor. He's not. <laughs> His, and, Ch- and, Channing Tatum, I Channing think. Tatum, that's Channing it. Tatum. Okay, like in, in most of the regular scenes, he's charismatic enough. He is what he is. But in the scenes where he needs to be dramatic, he doesn't have the chops for it, and it really showed. It's like, like, t- t- like to me, the scene at the gravesite. I'm like, you know what? We really needed a much better actor. I actually, or really, two much better actors in this scene. I actually kind of disagree with you. I actually like Channing Tatum in this. Yeah, I, I, I agree with job. you too. I'm sorry, I didn't mean stepping on us. No, 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 no. Don't step on me. I mean, that's fine. I mean, I, I feel he did, he did a fine job. In fact, this is the first time I've been seeing his name around, and I'm like, who the hell is Channing Tatum? Who is she? And then, you know, because you look at it, it's like, you know, and then you finally see her, and like, damn, that's an ugly chick right that's there. That's an ugly chick, but dude, he's a good actor. I actually like. No, I I agree with you. I I did like him. I can see what you're saying. He does need to grow a little bit, and I think he will. But I, oh, I'm sorry. I thought I heard some. Uh, but no, I think he was. I, th- I thought he was okay in the movie. No, no, you ain't gonna get Academy Award and then. All right, I, he he took me out of the movie. I, I'm just that's just me. Okay, and now now I'm not gonna give anything away. But there is one character who who takes his own life, and all I want to say about that is like I don't know if y'all felt the same way, but I was like good. Because he, he was a waste of skin, and I felt no sympathy whatsoever for that act. I don't know if I'll say good, but I'll say I saw it coming. I mean, it, I said... No, no, I'll go better than I saw it coming. Not only did I see it coming, I, I couldn't wait for it to happen, and I was glad once it did. That's another problem with the movie for me. I You could kind of pick out what path certain people are going to go down. This person's going to be the serious soldier. This person's going to be so disturbed that he's probably not going to even make it out of this town. So it was predictable a little bit for me in that way. <laughs> you just had me laughing. I'm keep thinking these dudes coming back and they just, it's almost like the LA riots when they get back into town. Everybody's like all happy that they're back and then they just start to destroy the town. <laughs> now that would be a cool movie. You, you get four vets who are all having flashbacks at the same time and within their, their, their mass dementia, they team up and just destroy the town. Isn't, like the that, isn't that what the A-team actually was? <laughs> That's yeah. the script they should do for the A-Team movie. You're absolutely it's, right. It's <laughs> like, ba, 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 ba. There you go. That's a new A-Team movie. It goes in and out of like their version of the delusion, what they see, and then what's actually <laughs> happening. <laughs> it's like, stop. I ain't getting on no plane. Get out of my bedroom. No, I ain't getting on no plane. No, it's like, it's like the movie me, it takes on a whole different movie. It's like, stop. I lost my town already. <laughs> <laughs> But you destroyed everything. <laughs> well, we don't need your thanks. But <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> Kaboom! <laughs> See a big mushroom cloud come over the city. But no, nah, I all joking aside, I really did. Uh, I, I did appreciate this movie. I did like it. Not perfect, but I will give it a matinee. I'm going to give it a matinee as well. I liked it a lot. I think the acting was great. I think the the story was good. I think she had her heart in the right place. I think it's the wrong time. I it really, it's a film that if, if you really want to see a, a film about how horrible the war is and what's happening to our troops, if you're in that 1% of people who actually wants to go out and pay to see a movie like that, please, by all means, it's a good movie. But really most people are going to watch this and go, man, that was depressing. Well, it's not meant to make people happy. <laughs> yeah, but that's, no- that's so funny. Cause I just didn't feel depressed by it. And I, I enjoyed it. Um, but I liked it on that level. Like, I feel like, you know, if you want to see this movie, by all means, you should see it. And if you don't, well, you'll be all right if you don't see it. 
but I was never depressed. I, I, you know, like I said, uh, I'm gonna give it matinee as well. You're watching white trash kill themselves. You know, you're like, oh yeah, that's that's a tragedy. Yeah, it was. <laughs> oh, did, did that come across? <laughs> was, was that that obvious? <laughs> no, nah, for it, me, it, you know, they make a movie about my friends. I'm sorry. No, nah, I, I think, uh, I, I think the movie just wasn't deep enough for me to get depressed. That's all. It, again, it was a little melodramatic. I actually felt like I was watching the WB version, the, excuse me, the WB version of a war movie at, at certain times. You know, the one thing I will say about particularly their unit and and about the way the movie was, it was uh, particularly white bread for the military. Having uh, grown up in a military family, uh, there's a much larger disproportionate amount of minorities in the military than, than they were kind of presenting. In this that, movie. That's true. Cause it was like a, like a bus full of white, nothing but white guys, one Mexican and one black. Yeah. yeah. Were you were you about to say something? Okay. Oh, I was going to remind you that the WB doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, it's the it's CW. CW. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Let me correct that then. Scratch what I said earlier. <laughs> oh, I guess you blew that fucking uh, uh, no, licensing no. deal. Oh, yeah, exactly. No, it's uh. No, it's uh, it's it's like the CW version of uh, of a of a Iraq movie at some at certain points. Um, there is one dude in this film though. It's like everybody gets to stay all handsome and heroic, and then they got that one dude that is the armless, legless burn victim in. <laughs> oh yeah, that <laughs> they dude don't got talk to him, up. And, and he's not the white guy. <laughs> no, he ain't. As a matter of fact, I mean, he was a Mexican dude, and he looked like a burrito when he was doing his ass. <laughs> They had a wrapped in foil and everything. Yeah, awesome. wrapped with, with chili, with chili I, poured on him. I know. Squeeze a little lime on him and some cilantro. <laughs> yeah. Drink him with the Dos Equis, you But, know, but you know, it's like he's like the only guy who wasn't having flashbacks. He was like the only one who wasn't, you know, screwed was, in the he head. He was happy. He was like, hey, dude, at least I'm still fucking alive. No. Awesome. He was a Mexican. He's like, finally, an excuse to sit around all day and do nothing. Yeah, he was. Oh, oh, no, no, no. no, no that would not me, no. I that had would... to take it. It was no. awesome. And that's the last that you've heard from Cyrus. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you won't see him in any more reviews. <laughs> Edith's going to take your place. <laughs> no, it's a, it was, no, it was funny because he, you know why he was so happy to get blown up? Because he even said, so I ain't making a joke. He's like, my family gets citizenship now. <laughs> well, he said if he died. Oh, if he died. Even yeah. so, he's oh, like, well, that's team. fucked, man. I know. He was like, no, I would, I'd like to go back because if I die, my family would get green cards. The, the Mexican guy who came back from this Iraq war. <laughs> You armless legless I guarantee you he's like okay well at least I'm gonna get great health care back in America yeah it's funny if he had said <laughs> that good luck dude yeah, like, I can't wait to go to the VA that's gonna be awesome <laughs> no, it'd be funny if like he said oh if I die my family gets all benefits and citizenship and now, Ryan Phillippe just took his ass and rolled him in the traffic <laughs> see that's that, what, what's sad is if this does well that's the next movie it's the movie about the minority you know the guys who not the minorities but the foreigners who come to this country and get citizenship by going to Iraq. And it's about how bone they're getting because they're not getting their citizenship as fast as they're supposed to be. What? what? <laughs> hey, <laughs> welcome to the club. Yeah. yeah. Welcome to America, my friend. <clears throat> oh, that was uplifting. 